Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mudbox tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to start sculpting for the first time. So this is what you'll see when you open up Mudbox. Um, and what you want to do is click on a cube here. These are just preset starting points and they're pretty helpful for learning how to use this kind of software. So I'm going to assume you have basic understanding of how to move around in a 3D software and alright let's get started so basically you have a brush right here also one other important thing is you might see mirror on which mirrors that's ah, a bad example right there if I whatever I do on that side will happen on that side and you want to just turn that off for now um, you can always actually do it on all these other sides as you can see but we're gonna keep that off so basically this right here is the size of your brush um, you can start sculpting kind of just like that it might depend on what it's on but if I make that size a lot bigger, as you can see, it's a lot bigger. And if I make the strength a lot higher, you can see it's a lot more powerful than if I had it on like five. Okay. So um, another easy way to do that instead of going there all the time is you can hold down B and hold down left click, and they'll just scale your brush size. Uh, make sure not to do it on that, as you can see, it's a lot more. I don't know, faster or whatever. Um, so make sure you do it on the surface of one of these models and um, and how you can change the uh, strength make sure again to do it on this right here so hold down M and basically the same thing as before and that black line you see there is your strength or you can look at the right and see how that is changing so that or you know like that and different strengths okay so another thing is make sure you use the wax tool. You, there's a lot of these tools you don't use as often. Like some popular tools you'll use a lot is like, I don't know, the knife um, and stuff like the wax and s these kind of things. But some things you might not use as much would be like, I don't know, you might not use the erase as much. But let's see. Okay, so I prefer using the wax tool. These kind of do about the same thing but in my opinion I like the wax one more alright so another thing there is the fall off right here so as you can see if I have that on square and I start sculpting it looks a lot worse than if I have a nice fall off um, like that um, there's different ones as you can see I much prefer this one right here which is just four I just like the way it looks and that's what I will be using you can use whatever one you like though it doesn't really matter that much right now okay so now you can kind of see you can start sculpting there some other little things you can do are um, reversing uh, how you like paint or sculpt I guess so if I just um, put my strength up a bit so you can kind of see this better and maybe this that's way too small bit up like that um, I have that right there and that is very I don't know pixely I guess you could say so what you can do is you can hold down shift and D to subdivide um, that's actually on five subdivisions you can go back between the subdivisions by using your numpad and just going page down page down page down you know etc so if I were to shifty right now oops oh I did not have my thing on boop boop as you can see we're going down in the levels and at basically that one we just have 24 polygons and we're gonna want to be able to sculpt actually and we cannot sculpt on that so I'll just shift D my weight up to about six. I think that one's pretty good. Ninety-eight thousand polygons. On more complex models, it will look a lot. Um, um, your computer will barely be able to handle. Depends. What, I mean, you have it uh, personally, but um, try to not shift D too many times because you want to be able to actually run it. Okay. So as you can see, it's a lot smoother now then if it if I were to go down to like three or four it's just horrible compared to what it looks like on six okay so now there's that um, another thing is actually the smooth right here so you can say so we want to smooth that um, make sure your thing is actually I like to have that on 100 percent and just kinda of go back and forth a little bit and you can see it smooths out those lines right there um, so that's that's pretty simple right there Another thing is, uh, let me see, yeah, another thing just to get you started is, so if you see what I do right there, it kind of goes out, right? Let's say I want to do that in, if you hold down control, then it just does the opposite right there. 
So if I were to make, the, for example, make that really deep, hold down control, it really digs in there, and I can just go all the way, bam, to the core of our little cube dude right here. So that's basically the beginner things to 3D sculpting. Um, you could always do this on something else like a head and do the same thing there. Uh, the differences between the, the wax and the sculpt are kind of just the sculpt is a bit different. Um, depends what you have on, but if I were to change that, yeah, I mean, there's differences. So thank you for watching. I'll make more Mudbox videos in the future. And please subscribe.